viewers my name is mohammad farooq today i would like to share the summary of a wonderful documentary of a wonderful book called the secret the secret in one sentence says that thoughts become things whatever we think it happens in reality as per the book that they consider universe a big magnet we ourselves humans are magnets our thoughts send the signals to the universe if we think that we will, we will be successful we will achieve certain amount of money we will get some degree then the universe will provide us that thing the secret concept is so simple that every human can understand it revolves around basically three things the first thing is that ask from the universe that i want that thing you must be very clear what you want from the universe second thing is believe believe that you already have it believe that you can have it just imagine it and the third thing is receive visualize it think that that you have that thing be that thing become that thing you want to become someone you want to become a lawyer dress like a lawyer and i will spread this book that the coincidence will start happening when you see the successful uh, life or the success story of successful people you see that they say there happen some coincidences that this thing happened coincidentally this thing happened the coincidentally why these coincidences happen to only successful people the reason as per the book is that that they think they believe and then they receive from the universe one important thing one important thing i would like to highlight over here that this book says that that do not you are not responsible for the results do not ask how 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 is not your job how is job of universe you have to just imagine that you are going to be rich and you have to believe it first thing is in the clarity in the minds if you do not have the clarity in the mind for sure you will not achieve that success so the secret documentary secret book tells the story of different writers of different successful people in which uh, the writer of the chicken soup for the soul also shares his experience that one day he thought that he is going to have 1 million uh, 1 million us dollars and he did not know how he will have that amount he just wrote it and he just set that target he was visualizing it and when day when he was taking the shower the idea of chicken soup was uh, for soul came into his mind and he got 1 million us dollars uh from his publisher for that book similarly there are uh, this uh, this this law in the uh, which is mentioned in the uh, secret the secret book is called law of attraction it means that whatever you think you attract that you think negativity you will attract the negativity you think positivity you will attract the positivity same thing is is somehow muslims believe that that we have to keep the good intentions from god we have to think for the positive things the positive things will come and the concept of gratitude is represented in every religion that you have to all the time ask for the stay the uh, gratitude the, the the book or the documentary shares many stories which has also story of a gay the all the his uh, office people used to tease him because of being gay he wanted to be a comedian and he got uh, bad feedback from the audience and then he was told about the law of attraction he was told that imagine you are becoming successful imagine people are liking your content and suddenly he became successful the book has many stories the book has story of a man who wanted to have the romance with the girls romance with the women and he wanted to have some partners but unfortunately he had a painting at his home in the painting the girls was not looking at her side the girls was looking uh, in the painting angry and then the professor of law of attraction advised uh, him to put the images of the girls who are looking at her or loving her and then suddenly this thing has changed his life and he had uh, he had a girlfriend and he had a happy life after that there also it also says about the imagination power there is one story of a of a of a doctor who gave a stone to his patient and said that that this is the uh, this is the stone of good luck and he just imagined it being the stone of good luck and he had the good luck in his life so it's it tells all about the thoughts you have a good thought it become a good thing i hope you liked this uh, this summary please share it with other people i hope they will also find it useful thank you